Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Namo tassa bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Buddhang Dhammang Sanghang Namasami So last week I I talked about uh, Ajahn Buddhadasa's uh, kind of instruction that don't be selfish, and uh, I thought I'd continue on that theme because it's uh, um, and yeah to me it's really the central piece of the uh, of the Buddha's teachings um, and uh, although uh, looking at it in a, a somewhat mm, a broader perspective because um, often just in in terms of the the language that we use of of Say selfish, it tends to be um, uh, <coughs> kind of be about being like um, insensitive or uh, um, being yeah selfishly. Only looking after oneself, not really thinking about others, um, not really caring about others so much. Uh, but but the uh, you know I think the from a Buddhist perspective, it's uh, um, this sense of yeah, uh, don't be selfish is also hey, don't be selfing uh, in the sense of not. Creating self, or making self, or taking self as a, uh, a basis of our um, um, identity, identification, um, and how the Buddha the phrases it of that, and that kind of the, one of the key problems of the, say, the human condition is the. Ahankara, mamankara, mananutsaya, the the eye making, the mind making, um, the underlying tendency to conceit. Uh, so that that sense of um, <coughs> and, and it requires a making. It requires a doing uh, in order for an eye to establish itself a mind to establish itself. We actually have to create that. That's not a, how do you say, it's not a quote-unquote normal condition. Um, it's an, uh, it, it's, that's an addition uh, that we add to um, the fundamentals of n nature of our condition, uh, of the, the human condition, having a, having a body, having a mind, um, 
and uh, and then we we add on the kind of the I position, the me position that is become so central, and, and the uh, and then the, say that mine and uh, as. A <coughs> The, and the, the underlying tendency to conceit, for say, manu saya, so it's this, uh, <coughs> un, uh, and, and mana in the sense of, of uh, 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 establishing a self is, 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 compar- is the comparisons that we make uh, between Ourself and others in terms of um, inferior, superior, equal, just taking a position of some sort, and uh, um, and, and, and yeah, having that position to either defend or uh, bemoan, or, and and that, uh, um, but it's a a created position that we 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 engage in. Uh, it isn't. Um, yeah, it isn't a uh, an intrinsic part of of uh, of our experience. Of course, it's it's incredibly common and ordinary in that sense uh, because. Um, we all do it, and and of course, we all suffer, uh, and that's the, that's the that's what the Buddha is coming back and pointing to. So that that being able to recognize that, reflect on that, and that's why I think the uh, um, the, the importance of um, uh, of of refuge uh, where. Uh, we say taking the the Buddha as refuge, and uh, of course we've been um, this winter retreat. We've been <coughs> um, studying, reflecting on the life of the Buddha, and and that um, you know certainly one of the most uh, Apparent uh, features of of the Buddha's life is is just how um, he gave himself to teaching. Well, gave himself to practice and seeking liberation um, from suffering, uh, but then teaching, and it was just this incredible, unselfish. Um, um, act of compassion and generosity, and and that you know, it's reflecting on it even a little bit. Um, it 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 uh, uh, it's such a an example of you say what a. A human life is capable of, or what it's what it's possible to do with this human life, and uh, and, and and say as a, um, I mean that that's your um, say one of your fundamentals of of all Buddhist traditions is is you know, taking taking the Buddha as, as refuge, and and of course that. Um, and the example and the qualities um, that the Buddha displayed um, over and over and over again through his through his life, so that that uh, you know what is left <coughs> has been this legacy of uh, yeah of unselfishness of of the. Uh, that's uh, say when we pay homage, pay respects to the to the Buddha 
the the words that we use is like that Arahang Samla Sambuto Bhagawa. Those are 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 bringing to mind the qualities of of say uh, of wisdom, of compassion, of purity, and that that uh, um, and and no, nothing in there is about uh, you know uh, say exalting a, a uh, an individual it's not a it's not a about a self that was around however many uh, if it if it were and probably wouldn't uh, his legacy wouldn't have lasted mm. but it's you know, somebody who who displayed this in tremendous unselfishness and and the the teaching of the of the dhamma is is uh, um, you know, it comes up many uh, many places where where the Buddha speaks of the like the flavor of of the Dhamma is the flavor of of renunciation of relinquishment uh, of giving giving up giving away and and of course the the essence of uh, of what we uh, of the basis of of renunciation is just it's this sense of yeah that that I making the mind making that uh, a tendency to to create self and and of course then carry it around but recognizing that oh we can we can release that we can 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 uh, and we don't have to. Uh, carry it around. It's like the uh, last night's talk with Ajahn Kurundamo, the, the uh, <coughs> um, referencing the sutta where the Buddha um, speaks of of uh, uh, the say the basis of of samadhi of settling of composing the mind of, of finding concentration as a uh, but with it with the uh, uh, we release as its object so that the, the mind the mind takes takes release takes renunciation takes takes uh, a, a surrendering a giving up uh, uh, and that's what settles the mind. That's what composes the mind. That's what the object uh, uh, that is most efficacious in helping to create this sense of uh, clarity and stillness. Um, I'm saying with Sangha as a, as a refuge, and that quality of, of of those who have practiced well, and you know, the, and it's the <coughs> the legacy of of the um, male and female renunciants, male and female lay uh, practitioners, uh, and um, and that. Uh, um, but what you know? What really constitutes that? Say, practicing well, practicing directly, um, practicing insightfully, practicing you know, with integrity. Um, yeah, is is this this tremendous? Yeah. Unselfishness, or relinquishing of self, or or letting go of of that self program, self identity, self identification. So that that just then th th those fundamentals of 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 refuge uh, are uh, are. are, are when we reflect on it, it's it's just so uh, 
lifting and gives us an opportunity to step out of that kind of yeah that 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 that, that, that burden of 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 self because that's the you know the, the sense of that's the glue that that holds dukkha together it's the it's the it's that is the 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 point of 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 mm, say coalescing of 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 discontent and dissatisfaction and sense sense of uh, that, that that eye making and that selfing and so that that uh, and of course trying to annihilate it is just another way is it just another self um so it ha it has to be seen clearly has to be understood and also in the sense of <coughs> the 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 heart really needs to be uplifted it needs to be bright and that's where refuge is so important uh, but also uh, like just the the qualities of of loving kindness compassion you know when we when we turn our attention to to loving kindness and compassion and we're we're you know, giving the heart the opportunity to step out of the 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 the, the that, that self program and then be be drawing close to the That 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 well wishing and con for others' happiness and the the concern uh, for their uh, their difficulty and 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 dukkha and and, and responding with the uh, uh, you know, compassion. But it's a bright quality of mind. We're not taking on suffering. We're responding to it. With a a a sense of of yeah of concern and empathy uh, and um, like one of the words that 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 is used to that was a synonym for for compassion compassion uh, karuna in 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 uh, <coughs> in pali but another word that's that's used is anukampa and it and it kind of means to to tremble with to you know, to resonate with to empathize to feel um and so it's not shutting anything out but because there's not a self Program or a selfing there or a selfishness there. Uh, the, there's a there's a generosity and and kindness, you know, a deep well of kindness <coughs> uh, as response to both our own suffering and 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 the suffering of the world. Uh, and, and it doesn't mean that we don't experience some kind of say sadness or or uh, um, you know because the uh, um, I know the world can be a, a, a sad place sometimes you know, you think in terms of the um, I mean the global pandemic and and the kind of um, strife that that is going on and uh, uh, and and yeah, I mean it, it it's tremendously sad how uh, human beings can can create so much suffering for themselves and for others. Um, but that doesn't mean we need to again identify with it, create a sense of self create an agenda that we're we're uh, um, uh, falling into 
aversion, resentment, um, or depression, and 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 it's just these are like it's like being able to view nature and and uh, and uh, you know and, and nature um, has the whole spectrum of of uh, 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 of experience and um, it's the it's the it's that sense of self of me that is trying to lift one up and get rid of the other and sort of like Um, you know, only, of course, it depends on one's preference. Um, I mean, I, I kind of like winter, uh, and, um, but, you know, it's sort of like, uh, so I just w want it to be winter. I don't want it to be summer. Uh, I don't want it to be hot anymore. Uh, but you know, others are so. Oh, it's this winter is cold and miserable, and it's, when is the summer going to come? But it's that. that it's, uh, but it's just these are cycles of nature, and uh, uh, and being able to um, recognize and accept and uh, and adapt to the to the the circumstances that are there. So the same with with. E Say emotional states, uh, and there's, uh, you know, there are. <coughs> I mean, that's where, like in in we, uh, one of the things that we uh, say, like funeral chanting, and we we chant mm, kind of the whole. Uh, one of the chants that we do is is a re recollection of the, the the range of experience and the. Uh, and the uh, uh, and it's like the say suk indrian tuk indrian. So the indrian is like that which is predominant, or or is is uh, is um, yeah is predominant and uh, is apparent. Uh, so that happiness and 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 so sukha and dukkha. But that, there's a, and that tends to be more on a, like on a feeling tone, but on the emotional tone, there's like solmanasa domanasa, so like sukindriyam tukindriyam solmanasindriyam tomanasindriyam, and and but then also upekindriyam, equanimity. Equanimity balance is also another factor. It's another. Um, Another possibility in our range of experience, and so that that to be <coughs> recognizing that yeah, this part of nature, there's yeah, there's pleasant sensation, painful sensation. There is uh, there is sadness, there is gladness. There's also equanimity, equipoise, balance, evenness. Um, and it it depends what we focus on and and m make much of uh, which one we choose as the predominant mode of 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 attention. So that that uh, and of course that's that's that understanding of the nature of self as a another part of nature that is 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 um, um, that we give attention to and create our our selves in a a, a sense of of uh, yeah in comparison with others and and um, but this sense of seeing things as uh, as impermanent as and seeing it and again, it's not looking at it as oh, this is impermanent and therefore it it's nothing. It's not a nothing, but it's it's not substantial. And what's the result? 
what is the effect? Uh, and and of course, what we're we're truly drawn to, or what truly nurtures us, is is you know, is a sense of well-being, is a sense of ease, is a sense of clarity. Uh, so that having a refuge, Buddha Dhamma Sangha, uh, recognizing that there are uh, nurturing qualities of well-being. Um, uh, and again, you, uh, you, uh, you're not making that into another identity. It's just this is in in nature. This is what is easeful. This is what is satisfying. This is what is 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 a, a true refuge, a release and relinquishment, uh, a non uh, attachment, non clinging. It's hard to talk about it sometimes but it it uh, you know in terms of because oftentimes what we 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 end up doing is <coughs> focusing on say what practicing you know what 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 practices did i do and what am i struggling with and and because it there's some traction there uh, and uh, and it uh, Know, kind of feels like we're doing something, um, so then we we end up say identifying with um, some either experience or practice that is is quote unquote going well or it's going not so well or uh, and uh, uh, and so that that the the but those are that those are the, that's what's actually feeding. The sense of self, and that sense of me. As a, uh, we, we, identi we identify, so that, that uh, so even in practice, um, you know, what practices are difficult for me? What practices are? Do I do I um, uh, say, quote, unquote, succeed at? Uh, and and uh, uh, you know, or you know, what attainment? What am I gaining? What am I getting? What am I? Uh, 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 what experiences in uh, spirit in, in 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 spiritual experiences? Um, um, uh, can I can I show for this? And, and so it, you know, and it is another aspect of self. And of course, it's always going to be unsatisfying because it's it is another either accomplishment or a, a possession or a way of measuring a sense of me, uh, and uh, so that the, the 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 that release. Of and seeing through that the eye making, seeing through that relinquishing of that position, of the self position, the I, me, mine position, is that is a, is is entering. Uh, one is uh, we say an entering into emptiness, and entering into this quality of. Say knowing, well, they say the the Krubhajan, so that the Thai forest masters we, uh, talk, <coughs> talk about the, you know, they talk about the knowing, and it's not something that, again, it's as a, as a as a becoming or as a possession or as an identity, but it is an uh, a, a quality that one can find release, one can find peace, one can find. Stability within that, and 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 that's uh, so that paying attention to what facilitates that that opportunity for release. What is it that supports the the 
that quality of, of knowing and understanding, seeing things clearly in their true nature, and then not building a sense of me around that, that opportunity to r relinquish. Uh, and that, that's, uh, uh, and it's not as if there's no practice to be done, I mean, a lot of practice to be done, but it's important to be able to see, wh well, what's the essence of the practices that we do? Because so often with you know, all the path factors, whether it's our precepts or our meditation or our investigations of Dhamma, uh, then there's all this background sense of, of I and me measuring. And that measuring always comes up short. Um, it always feels like it's not quite enough, or it's not quite right. Uh, and then so we have to look for something else. And, and we, we miss the fact that it is that measuring itself, it is that identifying itself uh, that is the, the problem. And, and, and you know, it feels so real, it feels so justified. Um, uh, it feels like we need to have some kind of, of um, tangible object for our, uh, for our being. And uh, and in reality, we don't. It's like that. Uh, the Buddha said, "Yeah, the 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 that that." Uh, and another w w expression of the uh, w where the Buddha says that the t the, the taste of the Dhamma is the taste of freedom, and, and that that so that 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 uh, that. that opportunity to savor this quality of freedom that comes with comes with the knowing comes with refuge it comes with the the see the wholesome qualities that are quite natural to the heart when we don't get in the way and we don't create <laughs> create more problems uh, so it's it's these are are uh, uh, you know I think particularly for us here during this time of winter retreat and people are putting forth effort and 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 trying out different practices and putting different uh, uh, putting attention on to different practices um, I think it's uh, which is great um, but also to be trying to step back and look at what is the what's the essence uh, what's the what's the what's the, the 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 central bit that is is, is that that the buddha is trying to get us to 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 understand um, so that 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 the relinquishing releasing of that self program that is where, say, true release or uh, uh, the, the the fruits of release will will start to manifest. So I'll offer that for reflection this evening. We can close with the Reflection on the Unconditioned, Book 1, page 49. <laughs> There is an unborn, unheard.
Oh. 